Okay, very quickly, we're gonna talk about respiratory alkalosis. So quick review, respiratory alkalosis, five minutes or less. I think this is gonna be good. So right here in this front, I have a box, respiratory acidosis, respiratory alkalosis, below that metabolic acidosis, metabolic alkalosis. Bit by bit, one by one, I'm gonna go through these. I'm gonna highlight the one we're gonna do so that you understand where we're at uh, in the grand scheme of the chart of it all. All right, so next slide. All right, facts about this that doesn't change. pH is above 7.45. PaCO2 is below 35, right? So your, your CO2, your carbon dioxide, okay? Hyperventilation is the absolution and the reason behind this, be it from fear, be it from anxiety, be it from a progesterone overdose or a salicylate. How do you like that? salicylate or aspirin toxicity uh, high altitude will cause it as well shock pain and trauma okay all of these cause the potentiation for hyperventilation and the potentiation for respiratory alkalosis why because your sympathetic nervous system is triggered and this is what happens when those things occur right only this is uh, a big fat jolt that happens and becomes a big thing very quickly but it takes time for us to get there so it's very important to fix it in the interim while we're going from zero to you know the stratosphere so it's it's the in-between time that counts so make sure of that next slide all right so what do we have in this situation shortness of breath duh dizziness uh-huh because you're short of breath confusion uh-huh, because yeah, you're, you're short of breath and your brain needs oxygen to breathe. And if you don't have that, then yikes, it's a bad day, all right? Numbness of your hands and feet, again, because they have choices. Those hands and feet choose, and they choose to be the Mockingjay. And they say, I claim myself as tribute, right? I, I lay my stake and claim as tribute, I'll go, right? So the same concept, they will forego their blood supply and give it to the trunk so that we can focus on the chest and feed the chest and the brain like we need to. So that makes sense. Always remember, sympathetic versus uh, parasympathetic. If you know what the drive and motivation is, you know how to fix it by, you know, doing the opposite or giving the opposite response. Next slide. So here's the tricky part with this. Focus is on treating the problem that created the condition, all right? So it could be various complications. It could be hyperventilation. It could be a panic attack. It could be, again, uh, like we're reading here, organ failure, right? It could be effect of a drug, any of those things. So what do you do? Well, you need to treat the condition, period. You need to put you back to square one, whatever that takes. So if I need to give you pain med because you, I don't know, severed your arm and it hurts and there's blood squishing everywhere and that's creepy and that's kind of freaking you out, which is making you hyperventilate, which is creating the problem, then maybe I need to stop the blood. I don't know. There's that because, you know, you're dying and bleeding out. That's the, the reason you're panicking is because you're dying. That's your body's response. You're, you're, you're welcome. You're welcome, says your creator, because that's what they did. They created you to be that way. So fix that and then fix what is causing you to be in an absolute panic very simple right sometimes we have to give uh, a rebreathing mask which gives us the ability to um, rebreathe that back in all that all that co2 that we were blowing out because we were tripping and freaking out and then we got a little dizzy because we let a little too much out okay and there you go there you have it if you know those pieces and parts, you know that any question related to someone who is going through a hyperventilatory crisis is going to be going through respiratory alkalosis. It's, it's that, that, that simple. If they are hyperventilated in their ventilatory crisis, well, surprise, one plus one is two and not green. There you go. All right. I love you guys. I'm proud of you. I hope you like these shorts. I'm going to do these four. I'm going to see if anyone comments on them. If you do and you like them, I'll do more. Okay. We'll see you later.